Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. All right, today we're looking at a house cigar, dedicated cigar for one shop by protocol call, called the Hard Coal Detective. And there is the density. Now about this cigar and who it's made for, it's made for Breaker Cigars in Shamoykin, Pennsylvania, part of coal country, thus the name. As a matter of fact, Breaker Cigars logo is that of a coal miner smoking a cigar. It's good. Now these are made in the La Zona factory in Esteli under the watchful eye of Eric Espinoza. The blend has an Ecuadorian Rosado Oscuro wrapper, a binder from Jalapa, Nicaragua, and an Esteli, Nicaragua filler. One size only, 6x52, 10 count packs, and uh, only available at Breakers. Breaker cigars, no S, sorry about that, Breaker going to give you the price here let me scroll down they are $92 a 10 count bundle and uh, are available now as far as I know so check them out at Breaker Cigars but today we're going to look at the cigar and we're going to review it the hard coal detective by protocol There's your little guy, coal miner smoking a cigar, the logo. Good draw. Good draw. Yep. We've got a different kind of citrus note here. Grapefruit, and it's sweet, but it's definitely grapefruit, and it's attached to a lot of leather. Now, there is some brown sugar and, and a dry nutmeg, but uh, your two flavors you're going to notice right off the bat, grapefruit and leather. Black pepper at about seven and a half. So, it's a nice citrusy start. Grapefruit is an unusual type flavor in that it could be bitterish or sweet. This one is sweet, but it's grapefruit. So the leather actually knocks off the edges of any thought of bitterness. It's just a very sharp grapefruit sweetness. So let's see what we have at the first third.
first third. Look at that nice, nice burn line. Ash still intact. Hmm. Now the cigar has made a little improvement in the sweetness category. You still have your grapefruit, but you've got caramel attached to it, accentuating the brown sugar. Still have dry nutmeg and leather, but the caramel sweetness added something for me. Finish is citrus. Citrus, okay. Caramel and leather. Good lingering black pepper. Medium-ish. We might creep up, but let's call it medium for right now. But I like these sweet flavors. Uh, this is uh, this is the these are the flavors at this point. that's sort of in my general wheelhouse, and I like it enough to score it ninety three at this point. As with all cigars, let's see what if we can make it through the treacherous second third. But at this point, it's pretty darn good. Into the second third, you can see the good even burn line. And there's where, where the ash fell off in the ashtray. From the uh, right after the first third, it's burning really nice. You gotta get this band off here soon, like now. All right, did scorch it a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so the cigar now is sort of trying to change, is morphing from grapefruit to orange citrus, but it's not, it's somewhere in between. Still have uh, some caramel there and a little smooth nutmeg and leather. The leather has crept up ever so much. It is elevated, but it has not hurt the cigar too bad. It is elevated. Medium to full body. Finishes basically orange citrus, but it's citrus. A little light caramel and leather. Good lingering black pepper. Elevated leather did hit it a little bit. I'm going to lower it to 92. But it's still very good. For a... Uh, shop exclusive i call it a house cigar but it's a shop exclusive this is very good so we made it through the treacherous second third without too much hurting it let's see how we wrap it up down to the end so let's wrap it up again burned very nicely now here in the end we've changed a little bit but it's all a no no net zero difference orange citrus brown sugar leather and black coffee we've got a nice base of leather and black coffee but there's plenty of orange citrus and it appears to be orange at this point. Uh, two and burn and, and brown sugar to uh, even out those heavy dark notes. Medium to full body finishes orange citrus and leather. If you notice, I don't really have the caramel notes anymore, but it's plenty of brown sugar to uh, compensate. I like this cigar. Shop exclusive, so be it, but it's very good. Of course, shop exclusives are not eligible for the year-end rating since they're limited to one shop, but that doesn't mean it's not a good cigar. It is. I'll hold 92. 
for the final third. And that'll get you an overall score of 92.33. Very good. Very good. Links to the website where they can be found at Breaker Cigars or on the blog if you're interested. So that will do it. The new protocol hard cold detective for Breaker Cigars in Sheboygan, Pennsylvania. 92.33. Mm-hmm.